Here's a brief video on how to incorporate Recon 3D data from a uh, iPhone 12 into a Pix4D point cloud. So first I'm going to take a point cloud that I generated using uh, Pix4D Mapper. Uh, this was data that I collected using a uh, Astro Mapping UAV. Uh, I'm only going to select just one portion of this uh, file. It um, it tiled it, so I'm just going to drag and drop a portion of that file in there and accept these defaults here. And after this opens up, um, I will. Uh, create a small clip of the area that I'll be uh, I'll be using. It's easier to use smaller areas in Cloud Compare. It um, it's easier to rotate um, around. Uh, let's see. So I'm going to do a plan view here, and the area I'm looking at is uh, right got it kind of centered right over where my cursor is. So I'm going to create a small um, subsample right there. So you have to first highlight that. You can kind of see the yellow box around there. And then use the segment tool. And I'll select rectangular selection. And I can kind of zoom in this spot right here. And that should be good enough. And then I'm going to segment in and then hit the green check mark. So you can shut off this, the remaining part. And so now you have just a small subsample of the point cloud. Now I'm going to drag and drop uh, the E57 file that. I created using a uh, iPhone using the Recon 3D app just by dragging dropping that into there and um, one is in meters so the Recon 3D data set is in meters this is in US survey feet so we're going to scale the E57 the Recon 3D data up to this uh, point cloud from Pix4D. Um, so first, I want to I'm going to highlight both of uh, this point cloud and the every point uh, point cloud, and you can kind of see there's a yellow box there and another yellow box around that. And then using this tool right here, which is the the alignment tool. And it says select aligned entities. So um, this big one here, that's the reference. So uh, the smaller one here, that's considered the aligned, what we're going to be uh, doing the alignment for. So I'll just select every point and go OK. Um, you can shut off, if you want to, you can just shut off the um, that reference entities and it kind of shuts that one off so you know that this one here that's the one that you're going to be creating some reference points so now I can go and zoom in to this point cloud here and just select you have to select a minimum of four points and um, done a little practicing on on this one but I have Two, two targets that I put on this wall and I'm also going to use this little corner here between the grass kind of this grass angle point and then this concrete and then I'm going to do that same thing over here and select a pixel there too so and, and I'm going to follow in like a order so this will be zero one two three and you have to 
when you're selecting them in the reference entities, you're going to have to select them in that same exact order. So I'll first zoom into um, the first point here. And you want to be kind of close to the center there. All right, so there's A1. You can kind of see it gets populated up here as the first point. There. And roughly there. And I'm going to pick this area right here, this three. Um, sometimes it might be helpful to take a screenshot. Um, so I'll take uh, the little snippet tool and just create a small photo of that. And now I got this picture of like which point is which. Uh, I'm going to drag this on the side. You won't be able to see that. Um, but now I'm going to go, I'll shut this, the align entity. Now I'm going to turn on the reference entity. And I'm going to pick those same points in that same exact sequence again. And you can kind of see, it, it can see the, it actually did create some little pixels there, but it, it's, it's sort of tough, but you can, you know, you can kind of make the point size just a little bit bigger or make it a little smaller. You try to find the middle of that target. It it's it's not that dense. So, but roughly, I think that that point right there, that's R zero, which is the same as A zero. And over here, and this one's tough to find. Um, roughly, I think we'll just use that point there and then I'm going to use another point right over here going back to going back to this screen again there's a2 so which is somewhere right around there and I should, I'll say that's probably that point there and the other point is over right at this angle point here. So I'll just, and this is, this is a rough buck alignment here. Um, with this, you want to adjust the scale of this because you're scaling um, from meters up to U.S. survey feet. So you have to hit the adjust scale, and um, and after you picked all your points, um, then you hit the align button, and that aligns it. And then to accept that alignment, um, you hit the check mark button, and it gives you your RMS error. Um, and I'll accept that. And so now that point cloud is, and you can kind of see the difference of how, how much more dense this Recon 3D data set is compared to the Pix4D um, point cloud data set. And now you have you have both of those point clouds and now you could do you can select both of them and this is where you can finally register the point clouds together and um, this is saying this one is the aligned one I don't want that one to be aligned I want 
I don't want the ever point to be the reference. I want the, um, yeah. So the aligned one is the every point. That's the recon 3D data um, with the PIX4D data, which is this yellow one. And then hit OK. And OK, and that finally registered those two. And you can hit OK. And now you can kind of do a quick check around. So you can definitely see some, some of the fine, uh, finer details. This is what the point cloud looked, just the PIX4D point cloud. So that's what it looked like before. And so now when you have this one in there, you can see so much more detail, um, you know, as far as determining what's that pipe thickness, um, what's the, you know, uh, approximate size of this head wall um, and you can you know take some channel measurements and stuff like that too um, and now that both of those point clouds are uh, melded together uh, you can highlight um, you could highlight all of them this point cloud to this point cloud and then you could um, you could even just add it into the main point cloud that for that particular one and then using um, the merge multiple point clouds just select you have to actually highlight that one that one and that one and now you can merge them and do you want to generate a scalar field for all of them sure okay so there they are and you can kind of see this was the, um, that's the overall, the green was the little subsample from the PIX4D and the red right there is the, um, that's the Recon 3D data. So, um, and then you can, you can export this um, as a LAS file um, and you could do some more manipulation in, in cloud compare, so. Thank you for watching. Hope this video was helpful.